The Lofoten Islands are an archipelago located in the northern part of Norway, above the Arctic Circle. Lofoten, island group, in the Norwegian Sea, northern Norway. Lying off the mainland entirely within the Arctic Circle, the group comprises the southern end of the Lofoten Vesterålen Archipelago and includes five main islands, Ostbegoya, Gimsoya, Vestbegoya, Flakestadoya, and Moskenesoya, extending about 70 miles, 110 kilometers, from north to south. In addition, there are many small islands and skerries, rocky islets and reefs. The total length of the archipelago is about 110 miles, 175 kilometers. A broad and deep fjord, the Vesteralsfjorden, lies between Lufuden and the mainland. The islands, composed of volcanic rocks, gneiss and granite, are the highly eroded tops of a partially submerged mountain range. The highest peak is Higrav Tindan, 3,760 feet, 1,146 meters, on Ostvigoya. North of the Arctic Circle, the islands are washed by the warm North Atlantic Current, which tempers their climate. The archipelago consists of several islands, including Moskinesoya, Flakestadoya, Vestvigoy, and several smaller islands. The Lufudan have been continuously inhabited since at least 1120, when King Aestein built a church and lodgings for fishermen near Kabelvag, on Ostvigoya. Fishing has always been predominant, and until the late 19th century, when tourists arrived on the islands, it was almost the only economic activity. Cod, along with some haddock, are the principal catch. During the spawning season, from February through April, thousands of people from all over the Norwegian west coast come to the area to land and process the cod catch. Stockfish from Lufuten, dried in the winter wind and sun without the use of salt, have been exported for centuries. Local industries are related to fishing, cod liver oil processing and fertilizer manufacture from fish parts. Some potatoes and berries are grown, but the scanty soils will not support even the hardiest grains. Island, New Caledonia. Britannica Quiz. Islands and Archipelagos. Svalver, on Ostvigoya, is the chief town and main port of the islands. Between Moskinesoya and the islet of Moskin flows the famed Moskinstrom and Tidal Channel, also called the Maelstrom with its treacherous reversing currents. Many artists come to the Lufud and group to depict the highly scenic landscapes. The famed Norwegian painter Gunnar Berg, 1863-93 was born in Svalver. The Norwegian novelist Johan Boyer described the Lufud and fisheries at the end of the 19th century in Den Seist of Viking, 1921, Last of the Vikings, 1923. The landscape of the islands is characterized by steep mountains, deep fjords, and picturesque fishing villages. The Lufudan Island Group, Northern Norway, and part of the municipality of Viken, see also Kabelvag. It is on the southern coast of Ostvigoya, the easternmost island of the group. Svalbard's economy depends almost entirely on cod fisheries. At the height of the fishing season, January to April, the town's population swells by many thousands, as local fishermen are joined by others from farther south. The town's industries, ancillary to fishing, include the processing of cod liver oil and the production of fertilizer from fish viscera. Local shipyards build and repair fishing boats. The rugged and bleak countryside around Svalver has attracted both tourists and artists, and the town has become something of an artist's colony. Gunnar Berg, 1863-93, a native of the Lufuten group, painted memorable scenes of the everyday life of the local fisherfolk, one of his best-known works hangs in Svalbard's town hall.
The Lufutan Islands are known for their stunning natural beauty, which includes rugged coastlines, pristine beaches, and the northern lights, Aurora Borealis, which can be seen in the winter months. One of the most fascinating sights in the world, yet most elusive and hardest to capture on camera is the Aurora Borealis otherwise known as the Northern Lights. This 8-hour long video designed for extended length screensaver type background play and for help with sleep features stunning real-time footage captured in Alaska. In the film, you'll enjoy several different scenes with calming music by Yellow Brick Cinema. Note while most of the scenes were shot in real time, there are a few shorter clips which are time-lapse and were filmed by friend and filmmaker David Fontenot. The islands also offer excellent opportunities for hiking, fishing, and other outdoor activities. Visitors can explore the local museums, galleries, and artisan workshops, and learn about the history and traditions of the area. In recent years, the Lufutan Islands have become a popular destination for travelers seeking a unique and authentic travel experience. Thank you. 
Despite the increasing number of visitors, the islands have managed to preserve their natural and cultural heritage, and are still relatively untouched by mass tourism. Thank you. 